Now, let's look at setting the ISO in the advanced exposure modes. Turn the mode dial to P. For the advanced exposure modes, the default setting is 100. Select an ISO the same way you would for one of the automated exposure modes. Note that Auto is not available through the information display. That's because Auto works very differently from the advanced exposure modes. First of all, it must be activated from the menu system. Press Menu and open the shooting menu. Highlight ISO sensitivity settings and press OK or press the right arrow key. Either opens the ISO sensitivity menu. Toggle down to Auto ISO Sensitivity Control and press OK. Select On and press OK to confirm. In the information display, ISO Auto appears just to the left of your selected ISO speed. When Auto ISO is activated, the camera doesn't simply set the ISO. Instead, Auto serves as a safety net. The goal is to avoid an incorrect exposure. The camera will try to set the exposure using your ISO setting. If the scene is too dark or too bright for the selected ISO, Auto ISO takes over. The camera chooses the ISO needed for correct exposure. Anytime Auto ISO is active, this icon blinks in the information display. In the viewfinder, the Auto ISO icon will also blink. During image playback, the camera displays the auto ISO number in red. One final note. At its default, the auto ISO range stops at 6400. The camera won't use any of the high ISO options even if you manually select it. In order to use one of the high settings when auto is active, you must first raise the maximum sensitivity level. Select either high 0.3, high 0.7, high 1, or high 2. It's more likely, however, that you'll use the maximum sensitivity menu to set a lower limit for auto ISO. If the camera needs to step in and change the ISO speed, it won't select a value above this limit. Choose a value that is high enough to allow the camera to obtain a correct exposure at faster shutter speeds. At the same time, avoid ISO values that are high enough to cause noise in the shadows. Your goal is to introduce as little amplification as possible. At the same time, the camera must be able to set a fast enough shutter speed to avoid blur.